guys, it's Canned here. Um, so a lot of you get in contact saying it's all well and good that I have this big kit, and I don't actually have a big kit, but I know the perception is, you know, once you've got the kit, you're like, where? Anyway, so what I did was I went through my lens kit, and I found that I had still had my 50mm 1.8 and my 35mm 1.8, which is like the beginner if you go into prime lenses, as far as I'm concerned. Like, they're the cheapest ones you can get hold of across the brands. So I thought I would show you what you can do with those. You don't have to go out and buy the 85s and the 1.4s and the, you know, the 105s. But that's on my wish list again. So we're going to go through some basic primes, see what we can do. But because, you know, obviously I'm a Nikon and not everyone's got a Nikon or a full frame or whatever. We've got um, my friend Corin who's going to also do stuff. And she's going to be using a Micro Free First camera on her Fuji, I think. She might bring a Canon, I'm not sure. But we're all going to use equivalent lenses across and show you that you can do great work with just those, okay? So don't forget to like her channel. I'll put the link below. And um, I'll see you all soon. So Corinne and I. Hi, Corinne. I look really tall. I look like a child next to you. Just because you are a child. <laughs> we're going to show you how you can get good images using basic kits. So we've each got what would we class as the the cheapest prime for our cameras, yeah. which for me was the 50mm 1.8, which I think retail's used. You can get it for as low as 80 quid right now, which I know is still pricey for some people, but for a prime lens at 1.8, I think it's really good value, especially Nikon, you know? We're talking full frame, we're not talking mirrorless here. And you are? Fuji, three quarter frame, 23 mil, which will probably equate to like 30 by. Yeah, so we're going to show you how you can use those. You don't need to go out and spend obnoxious money until you're ready. So I'm gonna be. Oh wait, I'm really tall compared to you. Oh, no. Can I borrow your shoes? Or have you got massive boat feet? <laughs> boat feet. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. I'm really insecure about that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Currently having my shoot now. Just like check out the professional over there. Like in the dirt. I mean, you know, just saying. It, it looks healthy. It looks real healthy, baby. Oh look at this. Look at this. Like an 80s blow. Woo! found this really beautiful alleyway <laughs> we're not venturing down that bit poor Corinne's got to stand there luckily she's got no sense, got of, no sense smell. of smell your hair matches the, the stonework really <laughs> well so when you shoot on the 35 you don't get the same compression on the background as you would with say a 50 or an 85 which is more apparent 50 has a slight compression which basically means Corinne would stand out more from the background the way to do this obviously take her off the background and give the distance but you're not always having that luxury And it's really cool. So what you can do is you either control it with your aperture or just get the idea that you just can't always produce that. But what we can do is show you what it does. So all we're going to do is get Corinne to stand in the middle of this grotty alleyway and we're going to blur out the background, okay? Using the same settings we did on the previous images against the wall so you can see what I mean. now it's another day and I just wanted to say that after we did the shoot in town we then went off to a place here in Northampton called St Crispin's which has got a bit of a history because there is what well, I don't like to refer to as a asylum but it is a former mental health institute and there's a church there and we did some dramatic shots shall we say. I wanted to show you that the 35mm or any prime you've got, it's actually got some versatility to it and it's easy to do dramatic shots, even in natural light. We didn't want to use anything other than natural light and we did bump in a reflector here and there, but you can really push the capabilities of it and it's quite nice limiting myself to one lens, so enjoy those pictures. <laughs> Don't forget, as ever, to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, feed my ego. Thank you for supporting the channel. You guys have been amazing. I've been growing quite happily on this channel and I've loved every minute. Thank you.